This video is brought to you by Squarespace, where you can build your own little home on the internet, all on one platform. Hey guys, so I had a request to do the like viral tomato feta pasta. Why am I speaking so slowly? All right, so I had a request to do that and I thought that was a great idea because believe it or not, I actually used to make a very similar dish. It just didn't contain pasta. So it was a tomato and feta bake, but with spinach and shrimp. So clearly when I was pescatarian, but I thought why not make this into a whole video? So I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of like variations of TikTok recipes, but vegan. First, of course, we want to start off with tomatoes. And are they called cherry tomatoes? I want to call them like grape tomatoes. It kind of looks like a variation of both. But anyway, I prefer heirloom tomatoes just because it adds a little bit of color, you know, not, not all red. Did you know that color red makes you hungry? And for our quote unquote feta, I'm actually using tofu. And here I'm using firm. So normally I'd go for an extra firm, but for this recipe, that'll do. In fact, you can even go softer if you want to. Then I'm topping that with some cashew cheese. And this I just bought pre-made. You can totally make it yourself. I kind of sort of showed you how to make it in a previous video when I made a baked ziti and I mixed it with a little bit of water because when we go to bake it, that is going to dry it out. So we're putting in basically some extra moisture so it doesn't burn. Because personally, I don't want to add that much oil. So feel free to use more, but I'm doing kind of like not the bare minimum, but just enough. And speaking of enough, I would also probably use more tomatoes in this, even though it was fine just the way it was. And then I'm using minced garlic because that's the rest of what I had on hand, but feel free to use like some larger pieces. You wanna season it to your liking, then bake at either 375 or 400 degrees. Since my oven is on the smaller side and let's face it, I'm greedy. I want my food to be done fast. I went for 400. And then after about 45 minutes, voila. So as you can see, cashew cheese got nice and golden on top, but it's okay because it's still soft in the middle. And that's why I pile it high. If I spread it out completely, it's gonna get all toasty and I don't really want that. I want it to stay soft and moist and creamy because that is what's making our cheese. And the tofu is actually just adding that crumbly feta look. So if you want to, you can omit it, but keeping it in isn't just for aesthetic. It does add more protein to the dish. So this way it's kind of got everything going for it, you know? And that's it, you just wanna smash everything with a fork, making sure that you rupture your tomatoes to create that nice sauce. And if you watch my videos, you already know that I reserve some of my pasta water. So I'm actually gonna pour that into this because I want to make sure that the sauce coats my noodles well, which won't really be an issue since we have that cashew cream in there, but just because it's a habit. Here I just added about a tablespoon and then also actually before you put your pasta in you do want to taste for flavor so if you need a little bit more salt, pepper, go for it. And to finish, I love basil so I'm going to add it to pretty much everything. 11 out of 10 would recommend. The next up, we're going for the fold. This is where you basically take a tortilla and you make yourself you like literally anything. So first I'm starting off with hash brown. Well, I've made one on this channel. I don't think I put it on a Sammy yet and we know how I feel about a breakfast Sammy. So first use my food processor with the shredding attachment and not shown here, you actually want to make sure that you wring out all of the water first. You can either put it into like a nut milk bag, kitchen towel, and just wring it until you get it as dry as possible. Then add it to a hot pan you can even give it a little salt to draw out some more moisture but I don't do that because I want it to get really golden and crispy and once you get it situated don't touch it don't try to like move it around you really need for it to stay still for it to form a good crust and as usual I'm making a tofu egg basically creating like a turmeric rub to give it that nice yellow color and here I added a little seitan bacon because again it was left over in the fridge from another recipe but I really wish I went for like a breakfast sausage I feel like that would have been perfect so definitely like do that 
And by the way, the full recipes for everything that I'm making in this video will be in the description box down below. And also I'm gonna start actually adding these videos to the blog. So if you guys head to abetweene.com, I've been trying to move as many recipes as I can. And I know it's still looking bare bones, but trust me, behind the scenes, I am clicking and dragging and saving and like space bar. I figured instead of just taking all these bite-sized little pieces that I would just do like one almost like mass upload for you. Cause then it gives me time to not rush things. So be patient with me. And one of you also requested requested that if you can get like you know maybe like a newsletter so that you can get notified when I post a new recipe that would be convenient so I've recently added that feature to the website and thanks to Squarespace it is so easy to add elements like this because it's literally just a hit of a button they have so many features and you can customize everything in fact I've even been looking at new themes so that is why things have kind of come to a halt because I just feel like I need to revamp so I really want to make sure everything just looks cohesive and so which means might need a little bit of a makeover and if you feel so inclined to create your own little space on the internet head to squarespace.com backslash a between e to save 10 percent off of your first purchase we're going for a little slice of cheese so i'm going to put that back on the heat but keep in mind guys it is done therefore you can skip this step this is just because of the type of tortilla i have which is a refrigerated kind and therefore i want to warm everything through Yeah, we're, we're making another one. I'm starting off with what you would kind of expect to go with the tortilla. A little kind of burrito situation slash quesadilla, which for me always includes peppers, like it, it's a must. So I'm gonna thinly slice a bell pepper and red onion. Then I'm going to make my protein or my like meat substitute. You get it. Normally you could go for a jackfruit. Since I still had more trumpet mushrooms from making the lemon garlic pasta with the faux scallops, I use that. I'm trying y'all, I'm really trying. Put my leftovers to good use because when you pull these apart, they also look like shredded chicken. And you can actually also do this with a fork. So if you're pressed for time, those I use the usual spice combination smoked paprika cumin garlic and onion powder because always and a little bit of cinnamon and then just drizzle with a little bit of coconut aminos and then normally I would use like a little bit of vegan Worcestershire sauce surprisingly if you guys saw my pantry tour I, I don't have any and I haven't been able to find the one that I used to buy anywhere so that'll do or you can even just do soy sauce or tamari so the trick with this is that you only need to cut a single slice down half of your tortilla, which you're gonna fold into four quadrants. So I'm first starting off with lettuce. Don't judge me, okay? I like a little bit of crunch, and even though I'm gonna be heating it up, it'll be fine. Then I'm gonna put my mushrooms peppers, and lastly, some vegan cheese. And if you have a favorite brand that gets kind of all melty, even better, because this is gonna turn into kind of a quesadilla. Then you just fold it like so. So make sure that you put your cheese on what will be the end portion, because that's gonna act as kind of like a glue to hold it together once it's been toasted. But there's also an alternate fold, which is where you fold in both sides and then kind of sandwich it together like you would do two pieces, but it's connected with a middle seam. So think of it as like a book cover. And this is supposed to make it like neater. If struggling with things falling out of the last fold, but like in reality, there's still this top portion. So if things are gonna fall out, like they're gonna fall out. Some foods you eat with your hand, they're just not supposed to be clean. You know what I mean? If things get messy, that is as God intended. Enjoy. And since not having guacamole or at least just avocado is not an option, of course, I'm going to slice them up on the side. Dry. 
and since I have it in my refrigerator, why not some sour cream? Also not pictured is, of course, chipotle hot sauce, like, as if I would not. And you can even slice these for either presentation or to make them like kind of giant nachos. So feel free to mash that avocado and make a guacamole because then these will be perfect for dipping. Oh, and while I was at it, I actually saw a video on TikTok as well saying that you could preserve your lettuce in water, which doesn't sound unfathomable. Like, of course it can, but this technique just fully submerges it and claims to make it last for like weeks and months. I, I don't think I'll be saving it quite that long, but it is currently sitting in my refrigerator. And by the end of this video, we will see if it worked. Now, what if you don't want a tortilla? This recipe is another one that you've seen me definitely make on this channel before. My love for onogiri or rice balls. Well, if you've ever had one, then you know how challenging they are to fold sometimes or to just kind of hold together. So I was hoping this would be the perfect like hack without the traditional method. And personally, I love avocado ones, but you've also seen me make a version with tempeh and I actually like that one like even more. Then we're going to take our sheet of nori. And to prep mines, I actually prefer to fold it into quadrants because since this one is a square rather than a circle, you kind of want to be a little bit more precise about the proportions so that when you fold it it's nice and neat or at least I care about that but if it's not even then the corners and the shape can get kind of clunky so just do this and at this point I'm realizing when you're making these less is more you actually don't want to stuff it because then it just makes the folds get weird things start oozing out it's not a fun time like I said yes it's supposed to be messy but it shouldn't give you a headache like you shouldn't just be like never mind and the verdict on this one, I mean, even though it had all of the flavor profiles, this dish in particular, it's about the proportions. You need more rice, and since you can't pack it, it's almost not worth it. And as I was saying, you don't always have to make like a warm or a hot dish. So last but not least, I needed to try just like a regular Sammy. Therefore, I made a BLT. And again, since my tortilla is refrigerated, I just threw it in the oven to warm it through, not make it toasty or anything, just not cold. Then when it came to building it, I'm actually using kale instead of lettuce because believe it or not, I completely thought about the lettuce that was submerged in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna be checking that now. Don't you dare forget to salt and pepper that tomato. And then because having mayo to tomato contact is an absolute must, I put an extra layer of mayo after doing the first fold. And because I'm nice, I'm gonna give you the first bite. What do you think? Me, personally, I like it. The only thing I would do different is, again, don't overstuff it. So maybe three pieces of bacon was a little generous. Next time I'd go for two. And unlike that breakfast Sammy, which was actually pretty filling for one, for this you can get away with two. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really lets me know what you wanna see. Or if you didn't like it, I mean, you can thumbs it down. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.